In just a mo, I'll give you a brief explanation behind each answer, linking the vocabulary or contextual links between the text and the question. I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to, to take the time to find the vocabulary and contextual links that I'll be talking about. Ready? Then let's go. For question one, we have to understand the main idea behind the first paragraph. And although all four answers are mentioned to some degree, the main focus is clearly on C. This is further shown in the main text where it, where it says, never knowingly committed an act of violence against another living creature. For question two, the answer is C, as the beginning of the second paragraph describes the people in the queue as an audience, not them wanting to spoil the entertainment, that is, wanting to see what happens next. For question three, the answer is D. The third paragraph tells us what Martin did to interrupt the action he thought was going to happen. So he attempted to distract the Honda driver, so that's why the answer is D. The other three answers are not reflected in the text. For question four, the answer is C. To duck something means simply to get out of the way by lowering your head or your whole body. Given the possible answers available, C is the only correct option. For question five, the answer is B. That is a substitutive term which refers to the act which he hadn't done since school, closing his eyes. For question six, the answer is B. Astonished in question six links to the vocabulary in the second to last paragraph. Amazement. This amazement was because the Honda driver returned to his car instead of beating Martin to a pulp with a bat. <laughs> 